Hello, welcome back to my channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. It's good to see you here. My name is Ego. I'm a law student, lifestyle blogger, and YouTuber. So before we get into today's video, I just want to say, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell notification so you never miss a video. Okay, today is Monday, so you know what the drill is. We are back at it again with another fashion video. Um, as you can tell by the title, I'm sure you know by now, we are going to be, we are going to be discussing the Marc Jacob um, lunchbox bag. And um, I'm just gonna quickly show you before we get into the video, the dust bag that it comes in. Um, let me, woo. So this is just a dust bag. It comes in, I'll turn down the brightness so you can see that. And if you wanna see what's underneath this dust bag and what I think about the bag, whether I think it's worth it, keep on watching. Okay, like I was showing you guys before, this is the bag in the dust bag and I'm just gonna turn down the brightness so you can see it. It just comes in this white dust bag and you just pull these strings if you want it to close. Um, and it just says the Marc Jacob on it. And I'm just gonna take the bag out the dust bag. So I have the um, lunchbox bag in the, I guess this is like a lime-ish color. I think it's yellow, but I'm pretty sure it's lime online. And I'm throughout this video as always, cause you guys know, <laughs> I'm so bad with remembering prices. I will insert accurate information right here as always, just so you guys can know. So let's get into the bag. So this is the bag and it comes with a long strap so you can wear it crossbody or on the shoulder, but this is the strap as you can see, and it is adjustable. So you can adjust the strap to your desired length and all this fits in a dust bag. Um, I usually carry it like this just because it's a pretty unique bag, so I don't see myself really probably ever carrying it as a shoulder bag just because of how it looks. I kind of like just carrying it like this, like a little lunchbox. I think it's so cute. Um, so let's get into the specs of the bag. So the bag says Marc Jacob right here on the handle. It says Marc Jacob across the back. It has two compartments, and then this is the back of the bag. Um, I'm just gonna show you the compartments real quickly. So this is the front side where it says Marc Jacob and you have, it's pretty roomy, and then you have um, a zippered compartment right here. I'm going to unzip that for you guys. Ooh, excuse me. And then um, I actually never opened the zipper compartment, so you just have the care card in there. Um, like I said, I've never opened that compartment until today, but this is just the zippered compartment, and then um, let me close that and then it says I don't know if you can see but it says Marc Jacob right here and then this is pretty deep um, and then you have the back compartment right here it's also pretty deep so you have two sides and they both have zippers this one just has a regular zipper as you can see and then this one kind of has like a detail on the zipper so it's a bit long and then it has this um, it's the same color as the bag the lime color at the end so when you carry it, it just looks like this. And then you have this draping. Um, if you wanted to wear it as a crossbody, you would just hook the straps here. So I'll hook the straps on for you guys. So you're just gonna take one strap. Um, I'm just gonna, it's easier to do just on my lap. So you're gonna take one strap, hook it on like so. And then you would take the other strap And then hook it on so as you can see this is just it with the strap and then to adjust it um, I've never honestly adjusted it because like I said I do not wear the strap I think you would just pull this out and then I mean I'll try this is on this is on pretty tight so I'm not gonna do it but I think you would just pull this out and then you would just move this as you can see it's like that you would just move it to the various different holes so we just go just on your shoulder or a crossbody, um, however you would want to wear it. If I, get, I guess if I were to wear it with the strap, I'd probably do a crossbody. I think that makes the most sense to me and just have the bag like towards the front. But this bag can fit a lot. Um, it can definitely fit my keys. My, I don't really carry around my Continental wallet a lot, my bigger one, but 
I don't think it would fit in here. It'd be a tight fit. Um, it can fit, but could definitely fit my Marmot wallet. And if you want to see what that looks like, um, I did do a video on my favorite wallets, which I will link in the cards and in the description if you want to see what my Marmot wallet looks like. But that can definitely fit in here. My card holders obviously can definitely fit. My phone, um, whatever I might have on my lips, my keys. So this is definitely a very roomy bag. So I like, definitely can appreciate that. So. Um, I would probably wear this to dinner, maybe the club. I guess it really depends on the scene. Um, but yeah, it will fit a lot. I get, and if you have little ballet flats, like the foldable ones that you might carry so you can switch at the end of the night, I think that will definitely fit in here. So it's a very spacious, roomy bag. And what I like about that, although it's very spacious and roomy, it's very compact, as you can see. I'm just gonna hold that on for you guys and move on for it. So the bag is very, very, very compact. So you get more room than what you see, if that makes sense. And I really love, love, love a compact bag that also has room. So you definitely get this out of this bag. Um, I believe this bag retails full price. It can range from like the 350s and up, but I will tell you guys, this bag is always on sale somewhere. So I don't recommend paying full price. Um, I know I bought this bag on sale. I believe I got it from Bloomingdale's or Saks, but I'll insert a picture right here with my exact receipt and how much I paid. I paid 200 something for it. So it was definitely like a good chunk of money off. Um, I've seen these bags on Nordstrom Rack for like under 200. They were like 150 or something. So they're definitely at the rack, but they were sold out when I saw them, obviously, because it is a good deal. It's like 50% off um where, where i got it from whether it was Saks or bloomingdale's it was on sale there mark jacobs website has sales on them so as far as the worth of the bag i would say it's worth it because it's always on sale it's very cute and they come in a lot of bold, bold vivid colors so this can easily be a cute little pop of color with your outfit and something to just like overall accessorize and pop your outfit with because the shape is unique and it's of such a vibrant color i absolutely love this color um I don't own any other bag in this color. I think this is perfect for the spring, for the summer. It's just like, imagine this with like a white top, a light wash jeans, a cute little sandal. And then this, it's such a, it's such a look. It's a vibe, totally. Like I, the color, like ordering online, I was a little nervous, but when it came, I honestly fell in love with the color. And I got this, I know sometime last year, probably towards the end of 2019, not Definitely before Thanksgiving, but like definitely after September. So maybe like October, beginning November-ish. But um, as of recently, sometime in May, I definitely saw it on sale on Nordstrom Rex. So like I said, I cannot stress this out enough. Do not pay full price for this bag. Not to say that it's not wor worth full price, but it's literally always on sale that you should search and search and search for the color you want elsewhere. Obviously with a reputable site because they're always on sale on reputable sites. I'm not saying go to like eBay or something, but since they are always on sale somewhere, I would say search and search and search and even wait to buy the bag because there's no point of paying full price for something that is repeatedly on sale. Like that does that doesn't make sense to me. If you're impatient, whatever, you're gonna have to learn some patience today, okay? <laughs> but um, overall, I think this bag is definitely worth it because, like I said, you can, you get a lot of good uses out of it, and it does come with a strap that's removable. Um, the pop of color is very nice. The shape is very cute and unique. It's just an interesting bag overall. And if you're not big on label showing, you can just carry it like this. And no, there you go, there's no label showing. Um, the handle is obviously on the handle, so it's gonna be very hard to see. I carry it both ways. I carry it this way, I carry it that way. Honestly, it just depends on how I put it on. It's not really intentional one way or the other. Um, so value, it definitely has value. It's a pretty durable bag. It comes with a dust bag, which is great. The, I mean, and it's easy to maintain the shape. You could definitely put some stuff in it, but the way it's built, it's pretty like stiff. So the shape kind of holds on its own. Um, and they're always on sale. Like that is a definitely a plus. We love an item that is always on sale because who don't like a good deal? But yeah, I definitely think this is a cute bag to have in your collection. I totally say if you're on the fence, it's definitely, you should pull the trigger. Like if you're on the fence, definitely buy it because I was on the fence too and I just bought it. I watched some YouTube videos. I really loved how they looked and how like people were carrying them. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna buy it. Um, I happened to see, 
I think I didn't see any videos with this particular color, but there was just something about the color that drew me to it. Especially since the bag is such a unique shape, I'm like, I don't want a plain color like black or something boring because of the shape of the bag. So I went with a pop of color and I don't regret it at all. Okay, um, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you leave a comment down below and don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell notification so you never miss a video. If you guys have any other fashion videos you would like to see, definitely leave that in the comment down below. I'm always taking suggestions and I'm always listening to what you guys have to say. Um, I frequently put polls on my Instagram, so if you're not following, here's your chance right now. My Instagram is right here at the bottom and it's also right behind me, so you cannot miss it. Um, so definitely go follow me on Instagram because like I said, I put different polls up, like whether you want to see this video or that video, or I might show you an item and say, would you want to see a video on this? Would you want to see a tutorial on that? All types of polls on my Instagram. So if you want to be more engaged and more involved in what content I produce, definitely, um, definitely fill out those polls or answer those questions that I post because ultimately these videos are for you guys. So you should feel like you're entitled to contribute to what I'm producing because it's for your viewership. But that's all I have for you guys today. I'll see you Wednesday in the next video. And until then, take care. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.